cardiologist, heart rhythm specialist, trying to help my patients one at a time, offering the best of what modern medicine can provide. Still, today I want to tell you about a supplement that is working for me, and that is supplemental lavender. Lavender, you know this little purple flower, if you extract the oil, you get essential oil of lavender. If you supplement with lavender, it is a natural antidepressant that can work spectacularly. And this was recommended to me by a psychiatrist friend of mine who's practicing here in America and recommending this to his patients. And, but well studied in countries like Germany, Korea, around the world, very well conducted trials showing that supplemental lavender can do better for us than many of these famous, very popular antidepressants here in America. Very safe, tolerable, inexpensive, and the results for you can be transformational. You've probably heard how essential magnesium is to human health. But did you know studies by prominent researchers and universities have shown that magnesium is necessary for over 300 biochemical functions in the body, from energy production to sleep. In fact, with magnesium being such a critical mineral in body structure and function, you want the benefits provided by the highest quality magnesium in decreasing inflammation, anxiety, and cortisol improving HDL levels, and stimulating protein synthesis. Research conducted by prestigious clinicians and doctors showing the benefits of magnesium. Beautiful. The good news is that there are plenty of sleep remedies that have been scientifically proven to help. If you're searching for a natural way to relax at the end of a long, busy day, however, I want you to consider passion flower. This calming herb has been used throughout history to treat insomnia. Scientists believe that the passion flower works by increasing levels of a chemical called GABA aminobutyric acid. GABA for short, that's what we say as doctors. Increased GABA levels will make you feel more relaxed as you wind down from the stresses of the day, increasing the likelihood that you'll fall into a restful sleep. Um, it's also used as a sedative for people who have nervous disorders, um, again, difficulty sleeping, anxiety, and restlessness, and also people who have stomach spasms and stomach pains um, and who have like a nervous stomach. Um, it causes a calming effect. Valerian root has long been used as a sleep aid. Problems, as a lack of sleep can lead to weight gain, a diminished sex drive, an inability to focus, a greater likelihood of accidents, and other issues. Eases anxiety. For the same reason valerian helps battle insomnia and other sleep disorders, and it may help protect memory and delay the onset of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. By lessening anxiety as well as improving both the quality and duration of sleep, valerian root can play a big part in controlling stress levels. A popular plant for treating menstrual cramps, as it can reduce their severity and discomfort, a common problem for women who have difficult periods every month. It helps because it acts as a natural sedative, as well as an antispasmodic, which means that it suppresses muscle spasms, similar to a muscle relaxer. What was interesting about valerian root is it doesn't seem to have the cognitive, which would be the slowing, uh, the hangover, the difficulty thinking, uh, that, uh, but it is an excellent supplement for those of us suffering with anxiety and insomnia. So I hope this with is helpful. With Rhodiola Rosé, it is a herb that um, is used as an anti-fatigue agent and it's an adaptogen compound, which essentially means it helps you to fight stress. It builds your stress resilience, which essentially increases your capacity for stress. Does Rhodiola Rosé work? And yes, I would rate it 10 out of 10. It is absolutely fantastic. Rated, helping you have a better memory when it comes to your short-term memory, your long-term memory, your word recall, your um, just processing speed overall. And what they found is that the group of boys that consumed the theanine two times per day ended up having markedly improved sleep patterns and also a deeper, more restful sleep. Now, this is all great. I would even argue that you can consume a ton of green tea and not feel the effects of the caffeine because you're gonna end up feeling the effects of the theanine as well, so you're relaxed. Gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA, is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the mature brain. It read nearly half of all synapses of the brain express some kind of GABA receptor and are thus responsive to GABA. GABA is believed to play a major role in controlling neuronal hyperactivity associated with fear, anxiety, and convulsions.